Um, the third question I had is just um, something that comes up often. Is this, is this like a, a mine-based system, or uh, how does that work? We are using the interpretation of the brain. For example, if I was to hold or touch any part of your body with your eyes closed, your brain will tell me exactly what I touched, where I touched, was it light, was it deep, etc. And where that's received is in the postcentral gyrus, uh, which is the receiving and dispatching center for the human brain. And so we're using that as a reference point to interpret of what is happening at any given time by what we are holding, touching, when we are viewing, for example, our eyes also will go into various areas of feedback. And so people don't realize that when you're talking to people, their eyes are going into all sorts of directions for them to recall data under various circumstances. So the eyes are part of that recording uh, program. We do not have to, in any shape or form, to ask verbal questions and look for a person's interpretation. The brain does that perfectly and very succinctly uh, at any given time. And so we're looking for the interpretation uh, through the sensory uh, feedback from the brain itself, not from some wild interpretation that the patient might have for that moment. And this gives us a very consolidated and precise look at what the system is doing. And so we are using the brain as the vehicle. We cannot, we cannot take the mind out of the equation, of course, but we're using the brain as the vehicle to uh, recognize, interpret, and uh, feedback um, through the nervous system what is actually happening. In the nervous system, we're, we're talking about the spine, we're talking about uh, the right hemisphere, the left hemisphere, the frontal aspects of the brain, the posterior aspects, and we're looking at all those things in an integrated uh, sense so that we can go through and find out what exactly is happening through each system as it integrates with the brain. Okay.